Oh my gosh, that was awesome. How's it going all you birders? Stefano here and today we're gonna go birding, finally. We got 10 centimeters of snow the other day, even though it's spring and even though almost everything was melted, you can never be sure in Montreal. There's just always that one random snowfall that happens after everything's melted. So here it is, hopefully the migrants don't mind too much. I had a target species in mind today. I was gonna try to get the flock of bohemian waxwings coming through. But two days ago, my girlfriend and I were driving by and we saw a flock of 300, over 300 definitely. I mean, I took a quick count. My camera couldn't even get all of them in the shot. So that's not gonna be the target for today. The target for today is a bird I've been chasing all winter, which is the golden crown kinglet. I've tried, I've come to this specific park almost every week and they're never here. I see other checklists that people submit and they have them on them, but I have not been lucky with them. So that's gonna be the target for today. And let's see what we get. I mean, who knows what's come through in the last few days. So stay tuned. Okay, we're 15 minutes in. It's actually been a pretty good day so far. Check this photo out. This is super weird. I've never seen turkey vultures in a conifer tree like this. There was two perched and I saw them from really far out and I just saw the wingspan and I thought it was maybe like a great gray owl or an eagle or something but you know once I got closer I realized it was two turkey vultures so that was a really weird sight. I don't think I've ever seen them perched like that. That was pretty cool. I saw a red-bellied woodpecker which I haven't seen in Canada in a while. Besides that a few pileated woodpeckers. Uh, good list so far. I mean way more than I had a couple weeks ago so can't complain. So far so good but we're still on the hunt for the golden crown kinglet. Let's go. got the golden crown kinglet. I was coming down the trail that I never come down when I visit this park and it was a bunch of chickadees. I was gonna pass them up and right as I passed I heard a really high-pitched whistle and two golden crown kinglets foraging. So I grabbed a few shots. Uh, they just flew away but I'm trying not to scare them, make too much noise, but I'm really excited. I want to dance but I'm not gonna dance because that's gonna make a lot of noise. So uh, I'm waiting for them to come down. A hairy woodpecker flew by and scared them off. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, try to get more shots. These are the photos I have so far. Hopefully I can get maybe some footage too if I slow down uh, my camera and put it into slow motion. But oh my gosh, that was awesome. I was not expecting it. I was chasing these birds all winter and I couldn't get them. And man, to have them sitting right in front of you, that is awesome. Whew, okay, let's get back to it. Let's see if I can get some more shots and let's see what else we can get. I mean, we're only half an hour in and I hit the target bird, so. Maybe I should make another target bird. Maybe I'll think about it. Let's see. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm scoping out the water and way across the ways it looks like there's a hawk um, feeding on something. I can't, I can't see with my binoculars what hawk it is. It's pretty far out. Maybe he just took off. Actually, I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the video, but I actually hear it calling. There's two, uh, I think, in the area, and they're calling back to each other. And I think it's a red-shouldered hawk from what I'm hearing, but I'll have to confirm with the ID afterwards. So I just got another lifer. Not a bird, though. I was walking down this boardwalk, and there was a bunch of wax wings, and right as I walked by them, I was setting up my camera. They seemed fine with me, and then all of them just took off at once. I was kind of confused as to what scared them, and then just out of the corner of my eye, I'd see something run across the boardwalk, and it was an American mink, and through these thickets, I'm filming him right now. He's going at the base of a tree that's kind of iced over, and he's digging just a little bit to try to get some of the water, and it looks like he's bathing himself, so. I'm getting some footage now. I am very impressed with how this day is going. I'm super excited. I uh, never saw one before, so. Whew. Another lifer, mammal lifer. Stay tuned for more. If 
you guys can hear, but across the water, there's a raven calling. Anyways, there's another bird for the day, a common raven. Hey guys, so I just finished filming that American mink. I spent about an hour with him. Uh, I didn't want to leave. He started actually fishing. I thought he was uh, bathing himself at first, but he was actually fishing. He was catching some nice sized fish one after the other. So I spent a bit of time with him. And as I walked down the path from the heavens, the bohemian wax wings descended. Uh, I don't know if you can hear them calling right now, but it's that high pitched whistle. And there's about 60 around me right now. They're flying all around, they're eating berries. So I've been unloading some shots on them. You know when you go birding and good things just keep happening? That's my luck today. I feel like every time I take a couple steps or two, uh, I see something different that I haven't filmed or photographed in a while or that I've never seen before. So hopefully I get some more stuff. It's only 11 a.m. I mean, I could stay out here all day if it's gonna be like this. Stay tuned, I'll see if we can get anything else. streak of luck right now. I don't know what I did this morning, but I got to keep doing it. I was walking on the main road, not even on a path or trail or anything. I was just the main road. And in a tree, I saw a hole and it looked like there was a screech owl in it. I checked with my binoculars, there wasn't. And I literally said to myself out loud, because I talk to myself when I'm birding, is no, if I see an owl today, it's going to be a barred owl. I literally turn around and three feet off the road, there's a barred owl sitting in a tree, like maybe four or five feet up. He was scoping out a little area where water collected and he was actually hunting. So I didn't move. I actually backed up a bit because I don't like to be that close to owls. I was probably within, you know, three meters of him. During the time I watched him, it was about 10 minutes. He swooped down twice, uh, trying to get, I guess, frogs in the water. He missed both times, came up with a <laughs> claw full of leaves. I am calling it a day. I was extremely successful. I have the checklist right here. 6.94 kilometers, usually I do double that, but I spent about an hour or so with that American mink, so I definitely lost a bit of time there. Uh, 411 minutes, 30 species. For early spring, that's an extremely good number for me anyways, especially at this park. I usually don't hit that. Even in the summer, sometimes I don't hit that. So early spring, that's a great number. I'll just go through the list and talk about a few of the species that I saw. I'll also link the checklist down below if you want to see it. So yeah, this has been hands down my best day at this park. Not only just observing birds, but I mean, I saw a mink too. Uh, but everything seemed to be close. Like I saw the golden crown kinglets and you know, sometimes you get a lifer and they're, you know, 80 to 100 feet away and it's like, yeah, I, I know that's what it is, but you don't get a great look at it. This, everything was right in front of me, you know, a few feet in front of me. So the golden crown kinglet having bohemian wax wings a foot away from you, a barred owl a few feet off the main road. It's just, I mean, birding's awesome. I, what a great day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm extremely happy that I was able to bring you along for it. You know, sometimes I go out to film these videos and I get no birds and you know, I can't make a video out of that. So there's been more than a handful of times where I've scrapped the video because there wasn't enough birds. So having enough birds, having interesting birds, it's so nice to be able to share that with you guys. Happy birding. See you in the next one.